All GCSE students have to take science. But your school is likely to give you the option to either choose separate science or combined science. And in this video, I want to explain the difference between the two routes. Separate science is also referred to as triple science, and combined science can be known as double science. In this video, we're going to focus on the AQA exam board, as that's the most common GCSE science exam board in the UK. The main difference between separate science and combined science is the final grades that you'll get. You get three GCSE grades by doing a separate science, but you just get two grades for combined science. Since the separate science course is awarding you an additional GCSE grade, you can expect it to cover more content. The number of exams that you'll sit in the summer of year 11 is the same regardless of combined science or separate science. You get a paper 1 and a paper 2 for each science subject. That's six science papers in total. However, the duration of the separate exam is longer. It's 1 hour 45 minutes, and the combined science paper is only 1 hour and 15. That's the structure of these courses, but I'm now going to help you decide which is more suitable for you. The most asked question by students is this. Is separate science harder than combined science? For some topics, it's a simple yes. Some topics are more demanding. But what makes separate science more difficult overall is the amount of content. Combined science students study just two-thirds of what separate science students will study. Here are examples of topics that only exist in separate science course. Let's now think way ahead and consider whether sixth form colleges and universities will favor separate science over combined science. You know what? There's no stigma attached to combined science, and many colleges are more interested in the grades that you got instead of the number of grades. In other words, it's better to have two strong combined science grades than to have three just mediocre separate science grades. But of course, it's better to have three grade nines than to have two grade nines. So think about both your abilities and your motivation. Are you planning on studying science or mathematics at A-levels? How about university? I want to explain how the combined science grading system works, because that's often very confusing for both students and parents. The marks of all the individual science papers in the combined science exam series are weighted equally. And your final grade is known as a split grade. In this system, 9-9 is the top grade. But between this and 8-8, there is 9-8. And between 8-8 and 7-7, there is 8-7, and so on. So in this combined science grading system, it can be useful if you just missed a grade boundary by a tiny bit. For example, if you were just two marks off an 8-8, then you could get an 8-7. Whereas, for the same situation in separate science, you would just get a 7. Ultimately, the most important thing to consider is whether you enjoy science or not. So if you do, I think it's a no-brainer that you opt for separate science. Do drop me a comment below if you want more advice choosing between combined science or separate science. I'd be more than happy to help.